Hey everybody, this is Rob Vegas and I'm checking in from Melbourne, Australia and of course we're back with another movie chat as part of Movie Month 2023 and it's the year of the DVD, of course keep physical media alive and we're going to be talking today as a follow-up kind of video with a movie that's a follow-up. Of course recently we checked out Dirty Harry with Clint Eastwood where the title character Harry Callahan, played by Clint Eastwood of course, was a hard tough cop in San Francisco. Well, he's back with another case, this time in Magnum Force from 1973. Again, it's classified as a neo-noir vigilante action thriller film. Now, of course, in the original Dirty Harry, he had that nickname because he, the rest of the police force, you know, didn't really approve his methods of bringing criminals to justice, and that's why they called him Dirty Harry, because he kind of bent the rules. Now, what would happen if there were some cops in the San Francisco police force that were actually breaking the rules, past the point of bending them, you know, just completely breaking the rules? How would our hero, Harry Callahan, deal with that? Well, this is what Magnum Force is all about, as there's a rogue bunch of motorcycle cops that are going around, well, they're basically doing a public service, you could say, but there's a lot of bad guys in San Francisco that have been getting away with crimes such as mass murder, uh, drug dealing, all sorts of illegal activity and these rogue cops are rubbing them out, like literally executing them. For example, the movie starts with a mob boss who gets away, who gets let off from all these crimes and then these rogue motorcycle cops go after him and take him out with, you know, extreme prejudice. And this continues going on and on and um yeah there's all these bodies that end up in san francisco morgue and detective harry callahan is on the case to find out what's going on now there are some new younger motorcycle cops that harry callahan meets at the shooting range at the police headquarters and um yeah he, se he seems to get along with them but these guys seem a bit too enthusiastic about their job and it turns out this group of cops uh, who Harry meets are the actual vigilante killers. There's a group of four of them that are um, uh, being bossed around or basically put on this mission by Lieutenant Briggs, who seems a bit shady in um, Harry Callahan's books. And it turns out he's actually assembled these guys as a secret death squad. And it turns out, of course, as I've said, they're responsible for all the killings. And this leads to, of course, a confrontation between Harry and these four rogue cops. And, of course, this Lieutenant Briggs, who's running the whole deal from the top and sweeping, you know, all the nasty business under the carpet. And this leads to, of course, a big climactic conflict between all of the main players. And, um, yeah, we've got to find out. If, um, you know, Harry Callahan is going to crack the case and bring these bad guys to justice and also bring all the, the proper bad guys to justice as well along the way. This clock's in at 124 minutes, so just over two hours, and is the longest of the Dirty Harry movies. But by all means, it absolutely whizzes by in terms of time because there's so much suspense and thrills. And um, yeah, as you'd expect with Clint Eastwood in these Dirty Harry movies, a ton of action. And yeah, can I recommend this one? Absolutely, it's got Clint Eastwood in it. So straight off the bat, definitely check it out. Uh, if you're a fan of the original Dirty Harry, then this is your logical next step to check out Magnum Force. There's some really great scenes in it and a memorable shooting range and fire exercise where you know they a lot of the clues to the case unfold and there's a lot of um yeah detective work from our good friend harry callahan and clint eastwood has always you know always wonderful in a movie and um if you don't know your limitations you probably should follow how uh harry's advice and and um yeah check this out and yeah definitely enjoy this movie i'm going to give this one a four on the rob vegas scale as it's a good follow-up to the original dirty harry of course you can't beat the original but you know this continues the story of the character and you see like um you know how far is 
Harry Callahan going to go to save the day and everything like that. Now, this one, as I said, it's from 1973. It's filmed on location in uh, San Francisco, so you get all that lovely scenery there and a great, um, yeah, great cast as well. Apparently, there was a bit of controversy about this movie when it came out because there's a couple of scenes in it that actually echoed real life events, and um, yeah, on on in regards to some of the killing methods um, that some of the bad guys use on their victims. So, yeah, um, don't, obviously, whatever you see in a movie, don't go and do it yourself, of course, and um, just enjoy the entertainment. So, anyway, a good movie altogether. Um, yeah, Clint Eastwood as Harry Callahan in Magnum Force. You're going to enjoy it. If so, if you love Dirty Harry, you'll love this, and there's still a few more of these to check out, which we'll be looking at as part of Movie Month, and yeah, have you guys seen Magnum Force, and what do you think of it? Let me know in the comments below, of course, leave a like and subscribe and all that, and stay tuned, and I will see you soon. Cheers, everyone. Training a bit outside, isn't it?